Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. I am so excited today. First of all, it's summer and I've got something fun, hopefully planned for you today. So I love, I love uh, Brittany's clever uh, words. We want your projects to turn out right. And so if you're wondering, what does that mean? Well, what it means is I'm gonna help uh, hopefully get rid of some of the myths about flip and double turning. You, do, you turn once and you turn twice. I know some people have uh, called me and said, um, I'm not seeing the, the project like I should. And it's, there's two turning methods that you have to do in order for these cinch bags to finish up exactly the way we wanted them to. So underneath here, I actually have uh, one of our cinch bags and we're gonna pretend that the cinch bag is actually in the hoop still, if you will, and it still has edges. And I know that one of the near the last steps it has you do is it take, you take another piece and you place it on the top of your bag and it's gonna stitch, but it doesn't leave an opening and it panics a lot of people. Um, you, you're stitching the entire way around and you're wondering how am I gonna get inside this because right after you stitch that down, the very next step, you're flipping, you're pushing the top fabric through, right? Any of those of you who have made this, you, you know what I'm talking about. You turn it over and you're taping this down to the back and it stitches again on the back. Well, it does leave a small opening on the back side, but you don't see that from the front. From the front, it looks like it's completely encased and there's no way to get inside that project to see uh, your finished product, right? And you're thinking, I just put all this wonderful hard time into making this so pretty and now I'm covering it and stitching it down. Don't worry, don't fret. I'll show you how you can get your project to turn out right. So after you get it in the hoop and you've stitched the front stitch and you've stitched the very last final back stitch, there's that's where the little hole is gonna be and that is where you will flip your, double flip your project through. So I'm gonna show you really quickly. This is just a single flip. This is one of our pennant banners. And I also wanted to kind of give some tips on how you flip these and make it a little bit easier. I think the first thing people wanna do is go right to the middle. But if you'll take the corner and you take the corner and then you take the top corner, then it just follows itself right through and it makes it really simple to flip this. And look how quickly you can flip that and you can finish straightening, straightening those top things out. So that's the key to flipping is corners first. Just think of corners first. So if this owl was just taken out of the hoop and you trim around the outside edges, this is what it's gonna look like. This is what it's gonna look like. It'll have the ears popped up a little bit too, but this is what it'll look like. And on the back side, that's where that opening is. <clears throat> and Happy birthday! <laughs> take the second corner next and then I have this wonderful tool it's called a turning tool it's made of metal and I just I love it it's got the perfect little end it's not sharp at all so it won't 
punch holes through your fabric. It won't punch holes through anything. Um, it's called an RNK turning tool. Love this tool. I use it every day. And then what I do is I just get a good hold of that and then I just push the rest of my project right through. Look how easy that was. And so it makes it really fast. And I've already, I had poked the ears out earlier, but this is great. See this little tool goes up into those cute little tiny spots and it will get those little ears owls for you. I know there's some other really good turning tools out there too. Tools are great, That's that, those are our friend, right? Another key is make sure you get all these corners turned out really nice. So I wanna turn all these corners so that they're out on all four sides. Then you're thinking, okay, I still am not seeing the owl, right? That's okay, that was just your first turn. So what you'll do is you'll iron this like this and you'll stitch that shut or you can use seam tape love seam tape and iron that down so it looks just like this we're gonna switch over to the fox now the fox actually has been stitched shut that hole is already stitched shut so now the last one you flip it one more time and you'll use this same method for your bags that like the Jeanette pouch bags um, the flying geese all of the fun bags that you do out there, the zippered pouches, as well as all the cinch bags, the same method, where you flip it once and then you flip it twice. Isn't that so cute? So there's your fox, and I'll, I'll go ahead and flip this owl, even though I haven't sewn that shut, we'll pretend like we sewed that shut. But what I do is, remember corners, I try to get those corners first, and putting the corners out first is really, it, that's what makes the difference. And then you get those out and look at that. There's the cute owl. So hopefully that was helpful that you can see that there's a method to actually stitching, you know, stitching that completely down, trust in the system. <laughs> After you flip it through, just remember the openings on the back. That's where you'll see the opening because it looks like it's completely stitched down on the top. And then remember, flip it once and then turn it inside out one more time for your fun project to be all finished. There you go. Tune in next week for Tuesday's Tips and thank you so much for joining us today.